All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Rob here at Smirking Gun Reviews. We are back with Daredevil Season 3. We are up to Episode 12, and it is called One Last Shot. I'm telling you, man, uh, like, they need to cut back on these episodes. Uh, you know, if they don't have... When they announced that they were canceling Luke Cage Season 3, they had said that they had cut back the show from 13 to 10 episodes. And I was glad to hear that they had done it. I wish they hadn't canceled it because uh, 10 episodes worked pretty good for Iron Fist Season 2 that they canceled as well. But I don't think they canceled it because it was only 10 episodes. But I, I just, I feel like they could have cut this down. 13 episodes of this is just too much now. Um, I think that's one of the things that people talk about um, a lot on bigger channels way bigger you know like channels like IGN and stuff um, speaking of the channel uh, just as of this video we hit 400 subscribers so I just want to thank everybody um, for all the support all the new subscribers all that stuff it is it's fantastic I think we blew, we gained 100 subscribers in like less than a month uh, and that's incredible and I, I couldn't I don't know how to tell everybody how happy I'm I'll probably be doing a video uh, for that as well but um this whole season's like watching all, it, it's, I compare it to <laughs> the entire series of The Man in the High Castle. Uh, it's like watching the end of Avengers Infinity War, <laughs> but like for 13 hours. <laughs> um, because it's just, it's all the bad guys. The bad guy is in charge and no matter what you do, through 12 episodes, he is still in charge, and it's it's fine. Like I said, it's a testament to uh, the character of Wilson Fisk. It's the it's the testament of the writing and the direction they wanted to go with this. Um, it is so down note though that after coming off a of Man in the High Castle, it's it's hard to be like all oh, right right now because this is the. Again, another, they've, been, they've done so many bait and switches this season. You know, raise your expectations uh, just to have them dashed away. Now, my expectations were never high. Um, a, a lot of yours might have been like, this is it? Is this it? You know, but it's never it. <laughs> you, you can't get the payoff until episode 13, which is another reason why I wanted it shortened to 10. I can handle maybe... 10 episodes of just, <laughs> uh, of just the, you know, no hope. The, the, he's, Fisk is too powerful. And it, again, it shows like that there are great villains in the MCU uh, if you just do them right. Now, there are signs that there are hope. I'm hoping that Vanessa is manipulating Fisk like man, Fisk manipulates everybody. When she saw the blood on the back of the painting, when she and she's talked that conversation she's having with Poindexter. Might as well call him Poindexter because he's not really Bullseye. It's he's just Bullseye's powers. Um, and I'm hoping that when you know she's she's getting him deeper, that the only way to really take him out is from within. And I'm hoping that that's what this is, uh, and that, that the convincing performance she's giving, that she's on his side, that wants to know everything. Um, I'm hoping that that's the direction they're going, but if it was just her giving in and wanting to be a part of his criminal life, that wouldn't surprise me at all. I'm just trying to figure out how they're really going to do it. I mean, yeah, Matt says we did it your way, but <laughs> in fact, I really wish that would have been more of like a, see, God damn it. Because <laughs> every time he listens to Foggy and Karen about, we got to do it the justice way, or we got to do it by the law, and I know... I know that that's the point. I know that they should do things by the law, by the book, you know, let the system work. But the system doesn't work. Like he said, Fisk is too big for the system. If you've ever read any of the Daredevil comic books that deal with this topic of Kingpin and New York, hell, right now Kingpin is the mayor of New York in the comics. So, you know... <laughs> 
it's 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 just it's really heavy to actually see it put to screen i think you know sometimes you want to see things from the page you know the comic book page put to uh the screen it's like sometimes be careful what you wish for because they're really giving it to us um part of this scene here it really reminded me of that Bruce Willis movie, 16 Blocks, where Bruce Willis had to get most deaf to the courthouse and all the dudes, they were trying to kill him along the way. But it was a pretty impressive scene, especially like, <laughs> I know that's breakaway glass, but I mean, it's, it's really cool seeing him like guide him through this little area uh, with his abilities. Uh, even though in the end, it's all for nothing. Like they have all this cool setup that's all for nothing because first off, they, you know, they give you those, that cliche, everything's okay. Like, I wanted Matt to punch Foggy in the stomach as hard as he could when he was talking about, oh, how positive everything is. Because you give the positive speech. You give the, oh, my God, we did it. You know, it's like fucking Bush's mission accomplished. <laughs> you know it's not done. You know it's not going to work. Because, like, less than a minute later, Matt hears the jury. You know, it's all been is going to be voting no because Fisk has gotten to it. So whether they shot Nadim out in the street or the, the jury, was it was already, it was a done deal no matter what. I mean, his fixer, this fucking Felix guy, man. Jesus Christ. He's not just a fixer. He's not like, he's like a fucking, he's got a superpower of fucking things up for the good guys. Like, I, I just, I almost find it ridiculous. Like... This guy's a reach. I mean, because Fisk has reach, but he's talking to this guy, Felix, to get everything done. He's the one that actually has all the, the, the things that, you know, manipulate people, right? Who is that guy? You take that fucker out. You find his place of business. You find his files. Because he's the one with the real freaking, you know, bad guy manipulation powers. Um... The whole, you know, I could, I could go on about how, you know, Karen and everybody's just trying to get everything together and make it feel good and right. But it doesn't feel good and it doesn't feel right. And the, and the FBI agent at the end, you know, uh, that's the other thing is why would he punch Foggy and then go to his house knowing that they're going to find him and kill him? So I'm thinking he must have a camera or something filming all of it, where Poindexter's admitting to everything. Uh, that's the only other reason why I would think he would stay there to sacrifice himself. One last shot. Ooh. So, I don't know. Again, I mean, uh, the, all, the, all the episodes are really well done. I just, you know, it's such a bummer. <laughs> you get all these, you know, you get cool action sequences, you get good acting. You got a lot of cliches, but it's still a pretty good episode. It's just another dick punch of an episode. So uh, we got one left. Let's see what happens. So this is <laughs> if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, again, thanks everybody for getting me to 400. That's amazing. Like I wanted to be at 300 by the end of the year. I was trying to lower my expectations, like <laughs> like I have to do with a lot of these shows. Um, and we've hit 400, so there's a good chance we'll hit 500 before the end of the year, and that's incredible to me. I mean, I think a lot of people might want to have their channel bump up bigger, and I would too, but again, temper my expectations down, and uh, we'll do this one subscriber at a time. So this is Rob Smirking Again Review saying thanks for all the support, thanks for watching these, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.